Welcome to Super Sisney Studios. I'm your host, Alex Sisney, and today we're going to learn how to load our film onto a developing tank. All right. All right. Um, each tank consists of several different parts. There's the lid, a funnel, several reels in the tank, and a spindle for the reels to rest on. Now there are several different kinds of tanks and several different kinds of reels. There are metal reels and plastic reels and plastic reels with little lips and there are several different kinds of tanks and each tank has um, different kind of pipes and each pipe it might be a different size or a different shape slightly. So it's important to make sure your tank fits together before you go ahead and try to roll your film onto a reel because you may end up with the wrong size, the wrong shape pipe. So it won't work. So, now that I have all the pieces of my tank out and have my roll of film, you're going to need a couple other things. You're going to need a pair of scissors and you're going to need a can opener. And you're also going to need a light safe bag or a light safe room. What I, want, what I would do normally is I would take this light safe bag and I would take my tank and the reels and my funnel, lid, pipe, film, can opener, and scissors and I would zip them shut in the bag. Now this bag has two zippers and the zippers prevent the light from entering the bag. One zipper goes one way, one zipper goes the other way. And I would take my arms and put them into the holes of the bag. Now, what I'm going to do, what I would do next is I would load the film onto my developing tank in the bag. But if I did that now, it wouldn't make a lot of sense. All you would see is this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to load the film onto the developing reels and put it in the developing tank outside of the bag so you can see what's going on. So I'm just going to dump everything out. Okay. So we're going to pretend that I'm in my developing bag and I want to load my film onto the reel and put it in the tank. Now these cassettes, these film cassettes are pretty tough. The ends don't just pop off, you got to pry them off. And to do that we're going to use a can opener. And what I do is I take the end of the can opener and has popped the end of the cassette off. All right. So I just pop the end of the cassette off and I'm going to pop the film out of the cassette. Let's go unwind a little bit. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to cut the leader off the film. That's this part of the film, the L shape. I don't want that so I'm going to cut that off. The now I'm going to take my film and I'm going to cut the film off of the little spindle. So I'm going to unwind it a little bit. I'm going to cut it off. All right. So now my film is off of the cassette. Now I'm going to put it onto the reel. And now I said earlier there's different kinds of reels. What you want to do is you want to make sure no matter what kind of reel you use that the edges of the reel are lined up. This has like a little lip where you would shove the film into the lip and wind it around the reel. And this one has two little hooks right here. Now when you're in the bag you can't see where the lip or the hooks are. So what I do is I take my, my reel, I take my two fingers, put them on the edge of the reel and I spin the reel around until I feel the two hooks. Now if you're going the wrong direction you might not feel them at all. You're like where are they? So you have to flip the reel around and spin the reel around until you feel the two hooks. I can feel them right there. So now I'm going to take my film and I'm going to try not to handle it too much. You really don't want to put a lot of fingerprints on the outside edges of your film or on the, on the actual film itself because if you do there might be fingerprints when you process it. So you try to only handle, handle the very edges of the film where the sprockets are. So I'm going to take the edge of the film I'm going to stick it into those two little slots and I'm going to give my film a little pull forwards with my fingers. 
Once I got my film started on the reel that way, what I want to do is I'm going to take my fingers, my thumbs, and I'm going to rock my reel back and forth, grabbing the film edges with my thumbs and pushing it forwards. And I'm going to wind my film onto the reel until the entire roll is on the reel. And after a couple of tries, a couple of practice runs, you'll become pretty good at it. So now my film is on my reel. If I was going to do two rolls of film, I would do the exact same thing for the other reel. If you're only, only, going, if you're only going to do one roll of film, what you want to do is put that roll of film on the bottom of the pipe. That way when we put this in the, in the canister when we're using our chemicals, we only have to fill up our canister halfway with chemicals instead of the whole way. So we save a few dollars that way. I'm going to take a blank roll of film, put it on top of um, the other roll. Now you notice this, this uh, developing reel kind of came apart when I was putting it down. These things can come apart and they can go back together. Just kind of sort of smack them together and twist them a little bit and they kind of lock in place. So I'm going to put this on top of this reel and I'm going to put this into my developing tank. If you don't put a spacer reel on top of the, um, the reel of film, what might happen when you're developing is that if this reel isn't here, when you're developing, you're going to flip your container upside down and your roll of film might pop up a little bit. So when it's sitting in a container, it won't be touching the chemicals all the way. Only half the film might be touching the chemicals. So that would be really bad. So I'm going to put this reel back together. Put it on top of this reel. I'm going to take my funnel put it into my tank. I'm going to spin my funnel until it locks in place. I'm going to take my lid, put it onto my container. And now I'm ready to go ahead and develop my film. Um, your film will be light safe with the lid off. With the funnel on, the container is light safe. But I just leave the lid on anyway. All right. And that is how you load film onto a developing tank.